Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Absolutely terrible stoppage. Terrible. In the Brian Rose, Carson Jones fight. Terrible. Now, I know you're going to hear many points of view here online. The video is not that long. I encourage you to watch it. Here's what you need to keep track of, right? After Rose gets hit and hurt in the first round, he tries to clinch Carson Jones. In other words, he's conscious enough to try to clinch Carson Jones. He's not out on his feet. He knows exactly where he is. He knows what he has to do. Now, Carson Jones is a vet. He does a great thing in keeping himself short and compact not giving Rose a lot to clinch, right? So Rose can't clinch him. But understand, Rose is hurt. Rose steps forward. Rose tries to tie up Carson Jones. The fight continues, right? Rose is unable to do so. Carson Jones then gets off a couple of shots. Now, it's true that Rose gets hurt, right? Even more. And it's true that Rose is back on his heels, as they said on the telecast, and is a little off balance for a second. But then he gets back on balance. Folks, he never hits the canvas. He's only off balance momentarily. Now, when he gets his balance back, I want you to look at his hand. He has a guard up. This is the first round. How could you possibly stop a fight when a guy is conscious, isn't cut, hasn't been down, and has a hand up? The referee, a bit too excited. In fact, it's debatable who was more excited in the ring, the ref or Carson Jones, right? The referee is so excited, the referee jumps in and stops the fight. It's an outrage. This is boxing. Referee, guess what? Knockdowns are allowed. A man has 10 seconds to get off the canvas. A guy can get hurt in the first round and actually still be able to go the rest of the fight. How do you stop a fight? When Brian Rose is lucid from start to finish, has done things like try to tie up the opponent, and then has a guard up to defend himself. I thought this was ridiculous. I know on the telecast, Johnny Nelson, as he put it, was trying to play devil's advocate. I know when you look at the tape in slow motion, you could say, oh, he's hurt there. Oh, he's hurt there. Oh, he's hurt there. Folks, this is the hurt business. Brian Jones, excuse me, Brian Rose, never hits the canvas, right? Doesn't spend a lot of time up on the ropes either. Gets dazed, tries to tie up, has a hand up. What's the basis for the stoppage? I don't get it. Let me hear from you. If you have a different opinion, right, then please tell us how your opinion conforms with what's been boxing orthodoxy to now. We've all watched fights where guys have hit the canvas multiple times and have gone on to win fights. I know recently we had the anniversary of Nigel Ben, Gerald McClellan. In that fight, Nigel Ben gets knocked out the ring, comes back in the ring and wins the fight. Right? How could this ref have Brian Rose just dazed, not even on the canvas? And then pull the plug. Outrageous. I I got to be blunt with you. I don't get it. If you do, leave a message for us in the comment section and tell us what the ref was thinking here. Obviously, both fighters understood that there might be times in this fight where they're dazed. Right? Understand, in boxing, you get dazed. Wasn't Mayweather dazed in the Shane Mosley fight? Didn't Mayweather's glove touch the canvas in the Zab Judah fight? Didn't both of those fights continue? Didn't Mayweather 
win decisions in both fights, right? Don't tell me we've reached a point in boxing where you get stunned in the first round, not even the 12th round, you get stunned in the first round. You try to grab the guy, the other guy's slick, he's small, you can't grab him. He lands a couple more shots, you wobble a little bit, then the ref steps in, even though you have your guard up. Are we at that stage in the sport? I hope not. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.